what's up everybody welcome back to my channel halo's kitchen it's chef a here and today i'm going to be making these delicious crab ragoons with a little side of shrimp fried rice so yeah i'm not gonna waste your time let's get straight into it so for this recipe you're gonna need some cream cheese rice green onion imitation crab um frozen mixed veggies some wonton wrappers i'll have everything down in the description below just so you can have the recipe in case it goes by too fast so yeah you just want to start off by adding your rice um into whatever cooker you want to do you can make it on a stove top or rice cooker but for this one i'm using a pressure pot and yeah i'm gonna be adding um i'm using like two and a half cups and then i add two and a half cups of water as well and then I also add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder in there. This is optional, but I just do it to add extra flavor. And then, yeah, you just want to click the rice option if you're using this. So for the crab ragoon, you want to shred up your crab meat. You can also use real crab. It would probably taste better too. But yeah, this was cheaper. <laughs> so you just want to put it in a larger mixing bowl. And then you want to add your scallions, green onions, whatever you want to call it. Then you want to add a little bit of parsley. And then you want to add your cream cheese. I almost added pretty much like the whole container. I would say it was between like five and seven ounces that I added. But you can add pretty much like however much you want to, how creamy you want it to be. It's just all up to you, what you prefer. And then you just want to mix it up. And then I just added a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of salt as well, just to give it some more flavor. And you can adjust that as necessary. Like you can taste a little bit of the filling, it'll be okay. As long as the crab isn't raw. And this is the completed mixture right here. So to make the wontons, or yeah, the wontons, you just want to have a little bit of water, the wrappers, and then the filling right there. So you just want to take one of the wrappers and then add just enough of the filling. You don't want to add too much. So um, <laughs> for the next few minutes, you're going to see me like do a trial and error type of thing. I'm trying different ways of wrapping them up, putting in different amounts of the filling as well. So enjoy that. So yeah, this is the first one, the first method that I tried. It was kind of a fail. See, I just wet one side and then I brought it together with the other side. And then you just want to do the same with the other side. Bring that up. But I wrapped that all wrong. So then here's another one. You see, I pretty much added the same amount in there. But for this one, I tried putting in the other sides more so like inside of the, um, the wrap, if that makes sense. Because the other one, I tried wrapping it on the outside, but this time I pushed it more inwards. And 
but I would say this method right here was the best one so far you see for the filling I kind of like spreaded it out a little bit more diagonally Okay, now we're going to move on to the fried rice. So for this, I'm going to be making egg fried rice as well. So I, I'm just going to make some scrambled eggs real quick. And for this, I use three of them. And yeah, you just want to cook it on like medium high heat and stirring consistently. Because it will start to stick. Then you want to add your white rice to it. Add your mixed vegetables. Give that a stir. And then you just want to add some butter. I think I added about like three tablespoons. And then I added some minced garlic. I think I added about like two spoonfuls with that two or three. But you can also use like fresh garlic cloves. Like you can roast them in the oven and then add them that way. I know most hibachi places will do that. So yeah you just want to stir that up until the butter's melted and then you want to add your shrimp i bought like pre-cooked shrimp already but you can make your own if you want to fresh and then you want to add your soy sauce and you can taste and adjust as necessary if you need to add more And then after a few minutes just sitting and heating up, um, the rice should be complete right here. And we can move right on to cooking the wontons or the ragoons, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, you just want to um, heat your skillet up to about, I would say like 350, 375. And then place them in there one by one or two by two. <laughs> And then just let them cook until this golden brown color right here. And then they should be complete after that. And then just look at the filling on the inside. These were so, so good. They were gone the same exact night. <laughs> And then I'm just plating right here, adding the fried rice. And this is the complete product right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you try this recipe. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.